Before you and your children hit the pool this summer, a recent study shows swimming injuries are up nearly 20%. 23 ABC's Leah Steinberg is live at McMurtry, McMurtry Aquatic Center where their pools are officially open for the summer and ready to take on the heat. Leah? That's right, Amanda. It was very hot this weekend, and what a better way to cool off than here at McMurtry Aquatic Pool. I've got my shoes off. I've got my feet in the water. It's so nice out here, and it's a great way to cool off because we are expecting record heat this weekend. Everyone's out here, and take a look at how lifeguards worked very hard this whole entire year to make sure you have a safe summer. With temperatures reaching triple digits this weekend, the need to stay cool this summer is in full swing. And while spending time out on the lake or in the pool is a great way to beat the heat, a new study reveals that swimming injuries are up nearly 20% in the U.S. Lifeguards at McMurtry Aquatic Center are gearing up for pool season and say they're prepared. These lifeguards have had extra training. Not only have they been certified in training, we bring them in for three extra days just to get them back up to all the skill levels. And we have been really grilling them the last three days, and we're prepared. According to researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital, a child is hurt every six minutes while swimming, and most injuries were to the face, head, or neck. Experts suggest that children should never swim alone, never run near the pool edge, and to always enter shallow water feet first. After that, it's time to put on the floaties and make a splash. We're ready. They've, our lifeguards have been really working hard. Um, we're prepared and we're excited. Now, lifeguards say they are prepared for the summer and for all of the crowds here. I think I'm going to stay in the pool because it is so nice in here. But make sure you might want to hit the pool this summer and this weekend, especially because we're expecting 105 degrees by Saturday. Amanda Troy, back to you.